In this video, I'll describe how you configure the meter control page so that it can connect to your sky quality meter. First, a few words about the tab on the meter control page. It has a small icon that indicates that no connection parameters are configured. This will change to a connect icon once the IP address for a meter is configured. Another word about the hardware setup for this demonstration. The demo computer is running Windows Vista Home Premium and it's connecting to a router wirelessly. The meter is connected to the same router with an Ethernet cable. So we're all located within the same local area network. The first thing that, that you'll want to do is set up the IP address. However, when the meter is shipped from Utahedron, it is usually configured to accept an IP address assignment from a router. Therefore, you may not know what the IP address is that's been assigned. We can use the find meters command to determine what meters are on our local net area network, and we can determine the IP addresses uh, found within those meters. So we'll try the find meters command. Essentially this broadcasts a message on the local area network. The message usually is not permitted to travel outside of the local area network. The, uh, the message will be interpreted by any sky quality meter on the network and the sky quality meter will give a response including the MAC address of the meter you'll notice that there's a sticker on the bottom of your sky quality meter that shows this same address. That allows you to match up addresses on your network with physical meters. Uh, we find that the IP address reported for that meter is here. And I will copy that address and paste it into the meter control page. Next we're looking at the port number that value is fixed at manufacturing time by Unihedron and under normal circumstances you won't need to change that. So let's test the connection to see whether it works. And as you can see it does. So our configuration is correct. Next, there are some values here at the bottom of the control page that describe where the meter is located physically. Again, this is the latitude, the longitude, and the time of where the meter is located, not necessarily where your data collection computer is located. Now Windows has reported correctly from its regional settings that this computer is at four hours west of UTC. Since my meter is also at that same time zone, we'll leave these values as they are. The latitude, longitude, and time offset are very important in setting the data collection page option where you can suspend reading during daylight hours, be that sun above the horizon or during astronomical twilight. So you should take care to make sure that the latitude, longitude, and time offset are correct. That does it for this video. We hope you'll continue watching in this series of tutorials for SQM Reader Pro.